it's a fake. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's Plasma, and today we're diving into the shady world of fake NVMe drives. Because I bought one to test and to show you the results. Yup, a Samsung 990 Pro for only $40. Spoiler, it's not real, but it's really interesting. So here's the deal. On the left, we've got the real Samsung 990 Pro. On the right, the imposter. Looks nearly identical. Same design, same red and black label. But one key thing is missing, the word Samsung and the performance. But that's it. The real one costs upwards of $150, and this fake, well, just $40. And no, this isn't some sketchy back-of-the-alley deal. I got it from a legit listing online on Amazon. And I knew it was fake, but I got it just so we can do this test. Kind of scary though, right? Time for benchmarks. Using Crystal Disk Mark on PCIe Gen 4 slot, the real 990 Pro clocks in at a beastly 7,000 megabytes per second, both read and write. Solid performance, exactly what you'd expect. Now, here's the fake drive. Same test, only 1,500 megabytes per second. Not terrible, still about three times the speed of your average SSD, but not even close to a real Gen 4 NVMe drive. Now here's where things get really sketchy. Using hard disk Sentinel, we see that this fake drive is reporting as a two terabyte Realtek NVMe, even though the label says one terabyte. Strange, but hey, it's a bonus. After I bought it, the Amazon listing was quietly changed to say 128 gigabytes, which honestly is hilarious. But these same fake drives are still floating around on other sites like AliExpress. Same label, same scam. Now let's forget the synthetic benchmarks for a second and try a real world performance. Copying around 50 gigabytes of a Colo map to the real 990 Pro, rock solid, four gigabytes per second. That's fast and consistent. The fake drive starts out strong over two gigabytes per second, but after the first two to four gigabytes, boom, the speed just nosedives, first to under one gig, then under 100 megabytes per second. At that point, it's basically crawling. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with the actual data. I didn't keep it in my machine long enough to find out. But I tried filling up the drive just to see what happens. And surprise, surprise, it doesn't even finish filling up the drive. As I copied more and more files, the drive gets slower and slower, becoming completely unusable. The performance tanks so hard that it's like copying files to a potato, a fake potato. So yeah, it looks like a Samsung 990 Pro. It even kind of sort of acts like one for a few seconds, but under the hood, it's a lie. A cheap, unreliable knockoff that wastes your time and data. I tried to analyze the microchips that were on there, but they were completely unlabeled. Be careful out there. When ordering storage for your computer and all computer parts, stick to brand names. Yes, there might be a great deal that looks amazing out there, but stick to your Samsungs, stick to your SanDisks, stick to your Kingstons, and a few other brands as well. But if a deal looks too good to be true, double check the price double check the vendor. When it comes to storage, there's no messing around. Your files are important, your data is important. If you're a gamer, then the speed of your game loading is important. So make sure you hit a like, leave a comment, let me know if you've ever bought any fake drives or other fake computer parts, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. This is Plasma1945, and as always, fly safe, and I'll see you out there.